Hello, everybody. Yeah, today we are doing the P6 media revision. So in session A, question one, they ask you what is the volume of the cube with an H5 cm. So that means that one side is 5 cm. So let's do this question together. So for volume is length time, breadth time, height. So since a cube has equal side, so it's 5 times 5 times 5. And give us the answer 125 cm cube. Next, question two. So they say measure and write down the size of angle W in the figure. So your skill and my skill may be different. However, the answer must be greater than a 90 degree. So make sure your answer is greater than 90 degree. So if it's smaller than 90 degree, that means your answer is wrong. So based on my screen, I will measure and I get 128 degree. Question three. So we say there are six shaded square in the figure. Shape three more square to form a symmetric figure with AB as a line of symmetry. So let's work out together. This is your line AB. So symmetrical in this case. For this, we will shape here. Then for this, we will shape here. And for this, we will shape here. Question four. Write down all the common factors of 12 and 27. So let's work out together. For 12, we have 1 times 12. 2 times 6, 3 times 4. For 27, we have 1 times 27, 3 times 9. So the common factor will be your 1, your 3. So answer is 1 and 3. Question 5. The figure is made of 3 square. What fraction of the figure A is shaded? So we have to make that equal part by simply cut this, cut this. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of total number of triangle, four, eight, twelve. So the answer is seven out of twelve. Question six. So Mr. Tan gives you one minute to do question six.
So question six will be two W. So W is five. So two times five minus four plus three W is three times five over four. So first we do this first that give us 10. Next, we will do this first. So that give us 15 over 4. So 15 over 4 is 3 whole 3 quarter. So 10 minus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So answer is 9 whole 3 over 4. Question seven. So Mr. Tan give you one minute to do question seven. So you see the figure source of a rectangular glass box partly filled with unit cube. So when the box is completely filled, how many cubes are there all together? So here, this side there, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And this side, there's one, two, three, four. And the height is three. So completely filled will be take the length time breath time height that give you 72. So answer is 72 cubes. Next question eight. So Mr. Tan give you one minute to do question eight. So for question eight, they say Kim read three books in two hours. She took the same amount of time to read the first two books, but 15 minutes longer to read the third book than the first. How many minutes did she take to read the third book? So first and second book is the same. Whereas the third book is longer by 15 minutes. So total is two hour 
that is 120 minutes. So to find the third book, what you need to do is take 120 minus the 15 divided by 3. So you have 35, that is for first book. So to find third book, you need to add back the 15. So answer is 50, 50 minutes. Question nine. So Mr. Tan give you one minute to do question nine. So for question nine, we say use all the digit to form the smallest even number. So you need to do some trial and error. But for even number, we only can use two or four. So we have four at the back, then we have two. We can use two to put in front, followed by five and nine. So answer is two, five, nine, and four. Next. They want the number that is closest to 5,000. So the smallest difference will be closer. So you may have these two possible answers, 5249 and 4952. So you minus, you realize that 5249 minus 5,000 gives you 249 and 5,000 minus 4952 give you 48. So 48 is smaller different than 259, so 4952 will be closer. Question 10. So Mr. Tan give you one minute to do question 10. So for question 10, we say George has a rectangular piece of paper. So you fold it along the dotted line shown. So find angle Y. So when you fold back, you'll see that this is a Y. And this thing is a 90 degree a rectangular piece of paper. So you take 90 minus 26. You get 64, followed by divided by 2, because 2 Y, that give 32. So answer is 32 degree. Question 11, 
Bisa tangki awam minit kedua bahasa 11. So for question 11, we say Andy gave one quarter of a pizza to a friend. He cut the remainder equally into six slides. What fraction of the whole pizza was each slide? So cut the remainder. So first, he gave one quarter. So we found the remainder is three quarter. Then we divide by six. So three quarter, when you divide by six, you change it into one over six to nine. Then here I can simplify divided by three one divided by three two, so you get the answer one out of eight. Answer is one out of eight. Next question twelve. So Mister Tan give one minute to do question twelve. So question 12, the average height of some children is 160 cm and there's equal number of boys and girls. So the average height of the boy is 170. So we indicate a tick with true, false or more possible to tell. So all the boys are higher than all the girls. So not possible to tell because we can have the boys, okay, to be uh, one, less than 170 or even less than 160. Yeah. Then for statement two, the average height of the girl is shorter than 160 cm. So the key thing here is there's equal. So since average height is 160 cm, the boy is 170, so since boy already above the average, so the girl will be below the average. That's why it's shorter, so it's true. Question 13. So Mr. Tan gave one minute to do question 13. So, Mr. Singh, okay, 
sent a letter with 32 grand to India, followed by 10 grand to Australia. So, what's 32 grand? So, 65 cent, every additional, so two now this. So, for India, it's $1.15 cent. Next. For Australia, 10 gram. 10 gram will be the first 20 gram. So $1.10. Then add them together. You get the answer $2.25. Question 14. So Mr. Tang gave one minute to do question 14. So question 14, he say a repeated pattern is formed using the number 1 and 0. First 18 number is shown. So they ask for the sum of the first 100 number. First, you have to see the pattern. It's in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's in groups of 6. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, see? Groups of 6. 1, 0, 1, 0. Groups of 6. So 100 number, right? Divide by 6. Then you see that there are 16 groups with remainder 4 number. So one group itself, okay, is one plus zero plus one plus zero plus one plus one that gives you four. So 16 group, right, will be 16 groups of that four plus remainder one plus zero plus one plus zero. So equal to 66. Answer is 66. Question 15. Mr. Tang, give you one minute to do question 15. So question 15, it says figure PQRS is with a parameter of 36 is formed by three identical angle triangle. So the keyword here is identical. So first, you look at the diagram, you can see that this 12, since identical is the same, divided by 2, here is 6 cm, here is 6 cm. So here will also be 6 cm. And the parameter is given 36 so you minus the 10 6, 6, 6, you can find pq so pq is 36 minus the 10 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 give you 8 so now you know pq is 8 and they ask for the area 
So we found area of one triangle first, half thumb base thumb height. So that is half thumb six thumb eight. Give us 24. Then there are three triangles. So thumb three answer is 72. 72 cm square. With that, we will take a five minute break. After the five minute break, we will do the session C. See you in five minutes time.